the purpose of the introspection is to make the existing intellect more available. All right. So the reason that we regret something is because we perform an action that we recognize we ought not to have performed. The implication being that I could have done something different. All right. So within the question is, well, why did I not do something different? Because my existing intellect, which was capable of saying, no, I'm not going to do the wrong thing. I'm going to do the right thing was not available at the time of action. It only became available after the action. So once the action had been completed, once the desire had been satiated, intellect was avail available to say, oh, you're, I've done it again. I should not have done that. Regret, remorse. All right, so the practice of introspection is to make the existing intellect more available at the time of action. That's, that's the reason that it's done. The, the practice itself is nothing other than a recollection from waking up to sitting down to do your introspection. It's just recollection, that's all. Um, there's nothing else that we're trying to do. We're not trying to become more objective to anything. We're not trying to figure out those times that we strayed off the path. We're not trying to do anything except remember. The only goal that you have during introspection is to remember everything from start to finish. That's it. You have no other job, no other work, no other goal. There will be times where you do have to analyze the actions you performed and what um, what the causes were for those actions and whether or not it was good or bad and how it might be a better way to handle in the future. There are times for that so that you can learn from your past mistakes, but evening introspection is not the time. You're only doing, you have one job and one job only, remember. Now, if other things come into your awareness while you're doing that, well, there's nothing you can do about that. If while you're recollecting, I did this, I did this, and then I, I cut that guy off in traffic and gave him the finger, and if, into your awareness arises the thought, oh, I shouldn't have done that, I keep doing that. And there's nothing you can do about that thought that just pops into your head. But dismiss it, ignore it, and keep going. So you start to become aware of the, as you said, the patterns and the habits that you have you know, emotionally and physically. You know, what happens when I meet my you know, sister-in-law? First thing that happens, every time I see her, I remember that argument that we had three Christmases back every time she comes into the house. So if I do that reflection every time, every time, every time, then I know that um, if I have to meet my sister-in-law, my intellect is, aha, you know what's going to happen, right? It, it's prepared. It's more ready because you've become aware of, as you point out, the, the habits and the patterns that you've become so familiar with. But as far as any other um, process or activity, it's nothing other than recollection. It's generally about the same length of time every day. You, you, five to seven minutes is sort of about the, what you'd expect to spend. So we recollect this down to the finest detail that you can without it becoming laborious. Like don't try and think now, what did I write in that email? You're not trying to figure that kind of stuff out. You're just remembering what you can remember. And as you do it, the, um, your capacity to remember more increases and your scanning speed also increases. You can remember things quicker. You get through it a lot quicker. I just want to reiterate again that point. That the only thing you're doing is remembering. First of all, it's not the right time for analysis. You know, just before bed is not the right time to be you know, having analytical conversations with yourself or anybody else. So you know, it's not the most conducive environment for that sort of thing anyway. And the other thing is it breaks the trend. If you are analyzing it, or if you're thinking about, oh, this is where I strayed from the path, then you're, you're breaking the trend of that unbroken flow of memory from the moment you woke up until the moment you went to sleep. That's what you're trying to sort of achieve. So don't deviate off the memory. The only thing you're trying to do is to remember in um, consecutive order the experiences of the day.